Starting with NX21.6.2, we have a new command that is configure AI agents, which will automatically set up your NX workspace to best work with your coding assistants and agents in general. So let me super quickly show you what I mean. So if I use here PMPM to create a new NX workspace, then during the setup, I just go with an MT1 in this case, you will get already some questions whether you want to pre-configure your workspace for one of these agents. So let's say you use Cloud Code and maybe Cursor, you can select those and we will configure the workspace for you. Now let me not do that right now so I can show you once I'm in my workspace how that looks like. So if I open this up in Cursor in this case, but it will be pretty much the same in VS Code and also WebStorm, you see a pretty empty standard NX workspace and it doesn't have any specific AI setups. Now what I can do is run NX configure AI agents, which is gonna run an analysis of what the setup is right now and propose a couple of changes. And so here you can see I have options to configure cloud code. Let's say, let's go with cloud code and then also I have cursor, so let's also select cursor. Now below you see also an explanation of what is going to happen once you select those. For instance, here it configures the rules at the agent's MD file and will also register the NX MCP server via NX console. Now I don't have NX console installed, so that's gonna happen automatically for me when I run this command. And similarly for Claude, it's gonna create a Claude MD file and then register the NX MCP server for Claude in this MCP JSON file. And so once I run this, you can see already the files being created here. And now it also installed NX console, which you can see up here uh, popping up. So let me quickly explain what is going on here. So first of all, why do we install NX console? Well, for cursor, if you look into this agent's MD file, this is what cursor is gonna read, as well as some other agent agentic CLI tools. And so some of the instructions in here that we set up for you uh, are some that we found work really well with AI agents. And so there's some instructions about how to run tasks, but there's also instructions of how to use the NX MCP server most efficiently, like when to call which tool, for instance, or the fact that you can reach out via, to the docs via this NX docs tool as well. Now for that, obviously, you need to have the NX MCP server registered and Cursor, VS Code, and soon also WebStorm provide a so-called MCP extensibility API. And we use that directly to register the MCP server via an extension rather than having it to be configured in an MCP JSON file. And so in fact, if I open up here the cursor settings, you will see if I go to the tools that there's an extension NX MCP loaded, which is basically NX MCP here running in cursor. Now the same thing is for Claude MD. You can see this file is pretty much the same. The only reason is Claude reads this file. And similarly, it also has instructions for using the NX MCP server. And so for that purpose, we also set up the MCP JSON for Claude as well. Now, if you take a closer look at this section here, you can see there is a starting point and an end point. These are two markers that we set up such that we can potentially also update these, this section for you in the future if you want to. Let's say if we figure out that we add more tools or some of the settings actually work better in a different manner, we can ship a new update and you can rerun that. So to simulate that, for instance, let's say I remove this line up here and I can then at some later point come back and say again, configure AI agents. And so if I go here to Cloud Code now, you can see that it says Cloud Code is out of date. The rules file at Cloud and we can be updated with the latest NX recommendation. And so if I hit that, it would repopulate that section in between. Now you might be wondering why it is, uh, is it asking some other things in between here as well? For instance, the OpenAI Codex where the MCP is missing. This is because Codex reads the agent's MD file. So if you would be running codex in his workspace at some point, then it would read agents MD, but there would be no MCP configured for codex. And so if we would select this option, it would at the global level, which fortunately for codex is needed, register NX MCP properly, such that you have the best experience with OpenAI codex as well. Now, obviously you can just deselect those because you're not interested maybe in codex or copilot in this case. And so you just like hit enter and it would now update the instructions. And so you can see here, we have them again registered.